programming with QBasic. We get is in in. Did you understand what I said? No. I asked, how are you? In German. People don't understand all languages. Similarly, a computer also doesn't understand human language. Does it mean that we can't communicate with a computer? We can, but we need to use the machine code. To instruct a computer, we need to write our instructions in a computer programming language. There are different programming languages such as BASIC, C, C++ and Java. BASIC is an easy to understand high level programming language used by beginners. The full form of BASIC is Beginners All Purpose Symbolic Instruction Code. QBASIC, GW BASIC and Visual BASIC are some popular versions of BASIC. Let's learn about QBASIC today. To start QBASIC, click on the QBASIC.exe or QB.exe file in your computer. A blue background appears which displays a dialog box with a welcome message. Press the escape key to skip the welcome screen and display the QBASIC window. The QBASIC window has the title bar, menu bar, program area and status bar. The menu bar has various menus such as file, edit, view, search, run, debug, etc. Each menu has several commands that help you create, edit and run your programs. The title bar displays the name of the current program. This is the program area where we can type the program. The status bar is present at the bottom of the screen. It displays a list of shortcut keys for the frequently used commands. For example, Shift plus F1 key opens the help window and Enter key displays the menu instantly. On the right side of the status bar, the current position of the cursor is displayed. Now let's create a program to display good morning on the screen. We need to follow these steps to write our desired text. First, click on New under File on the menu bar. Then, Type the program statement in the program area. In this case, the program statement is print good morning. Now, click on start under run on the menu bar to execute the program. QBASIC shows the output. The screen where output is shown is called the output screen. Now, press any key on the keyboard to return to the screen where the program is typed. Once you have created the program, it is important to save it. To save a program in QBASIC, click on Save As under File. The Save As dialog box appears. Type a file name and click OK. If you want to open a saved program, click on Open under File. The Open dialog box appears. Choose the file name and click on OK. Subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update.